Welcome to my YouTube channel. Our today's topic for discussion is all essential types of inhaler and their uses. Short acting beta agonist, Saba. Common examples include albuterol, solbutamol, terbutaline, and level buterol. Usually used as reliever for chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD. And asthma can cause tremor as a side effect. Lung acting beta agonist, LABA. Formoterol and Salmeterol are some common examples. It is used as controller for chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and asthma. If used in asthma as controller, it must be used with ICS together. Short-acting muscarinic antagonist, SAMA. Apertropium is an example of short-acting muscarinic antagonist. It is mainly used in chronic obstructive pulmonary disease in asthma. Its role limits to acute exacerbation only. It can cause anticholinergic effects such as dry, mouth, and blurred vision. Lung-acting muscarinic antagonist, LAMA. Some common ones are teotropium and glycopyronium. Only llama to be used in asthma is teotropium. Other llama are mainly for chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Inhaled corticosteroid, ICS. Generic names often ends with Sony, such as beclomethasone, fluticasone, momedasone. It can be used as a controller for Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and asthma remind patient to rinse mouth after using inhaled corticosteroid. General instructions for using inhalers 1. Remove the cap. 2. Shake the inhaler well for 5 seconds. 3. Hold the inhaler firmly by placing the index finger on top of the canister and the thumb on the bottom of the mouthpiece. 4. Sit straight or stand up. 5. Tilt head back. Slightly. 6. Exhale away from the inhaler. 7. Put the inhaler in the mouth. Press the inhaler and start breathing in at the same time, slowly and deeply for 3 to 4 seconds. 8. Hold the breath for 10 seconds and exhale slowly through mouth and nose. 9. Wait for at least 30 say. Kins if another dose is needed. Question time. What is the common counseling point for patient using inhalers? Must comment your answer in comment box. Thanks for your time and support. Stay connected with me to learn more interesting pharmacological studies. Must ask any question or confusion in comment box. Let me know which medicine information you want next. Thank you.